All right, YouTube, one six Falconer, back with another freaking exciting video. Happy New Year, 1st of January, 2022. Hopefully this year's going to be better than the last year. Freaking crap. Anyways, quick video on uh, on, on a couple uh, different floorings at Home Depot sells. This is the vinyl wood grain flooring. Um, I got a couple boxes of Life Proof, about 340 a square foot, and three boxes of Traffic Master, 220 a square foot um the the life proof there's you get seven seven planks per box and it covers uh uh what's the square footage here burp, 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 burp. oh 20.06 square feet per box all right the two dollar and twenty cents traffic master you get uh, 16 pieces per box, and this covers almost uh, 24, 23.95 square feet per box. So, I bought the uh, I bought the life proof, the better stuff, to do the hallway in this old house um, because, uh, believe me, this house was it was built in 1901, and they just didn't give a crap. Um, <laughs> there is nothing level. From the, from the kitchen wall to the space heater is a four inch drop. But the biggest drop is from the wall to about the middle of the kitchen. That drops, it's it's like uh, almost three inch drop, just boom, right down. So the windows in the kitchen on, on the side and the window in the bathroom on the side, are, they go shoot down like that. Um, then, uh, this well here let me show you let me show you the uh, the flooring first this is the uh, the life proof the more expensive stuff this is uh it's basically a quarter inch thick it's seven seven millimeter um it has a uh, your six or seven mil wear layer up here then you have this reinforcement thing here to help with with uh bad floors and then you have your main vinyl. Um, the uh, Traffic Master, you have a six mil wear layer, if you can see it there, and then just your, your vinyl core. Um, this, the, uh, the Life Proof is uh, about one and a half times thicker than, let's see here, than the Traffic Master. If we, Set them up there. It is second. So two, two traffic masters to one uh, life proof. You can see there. It's about, uh, like I say, a little over. It seems to me a little over one and a half times thicker. These are, these are, just over an eighth inch. Um, maybe like five sixty fourths. Let's see, would five sixty fourths be over an eighth inch? Whatever, a sixty fourth over an eighth of an inch. That's what these are. Now the um, the the life proof uh, installs easier um, than the traffic master. The life proof, the the butt joints. You just uh, I'll show you here because I'm going to make a threshold out of this one. Um, you just you take your butt joint you just put one over top of the other like so and uh, you just get a dead blow hammer and bam bam they snap right in lock right in place so no farting around then the only thing the only thing you got to uh, um, snap in is your is your uh, long run your face run there so a lot easier to install um, a higher quality i mean even the even the print on here i mean it feels really t it feels like real wood where this one this one has texture on it but it but it feels like that fake stuff um but hey for the price what the hell um the uh the traffic master do this one let's see here we have to uh um you have to lock them in. You have to lift one up, and then, and then, whoop, and then, 
and then lock it in like so and then slide your 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 long run in and and tap her in to lock it in um so it's it's a little more hinky than, do, than doing the uh the light proof but it's still not bad it goes in nice now <coughs> the reason i did this uh life proof in this hallway here this this area here two boxes i had just enough to to do this little hallway it was it was like 150 bucks 155 something like that then a couple pieces i have left over i'm gonna do a threshold here i wanted to i wanted to run them like i did here but had i done it that way i would not have had enough uh to complete this little hallway here um and i did not want to want to spend uh the money on another box uh, now junior the second says that he thinks you can buy individual pieces but i didn't want to take a chance to find out and i just wanted to get it done um but this floor here is really 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 bad um junior the seconds who turned me on to this to this vinyl wood grain floor so from the doorway here try to get perspective here. anyways it's a little over three feet from from the from the doorway here to the to the chimney and this floor here it drops down and then it goes up to the chimney it's it's from the doorway to the chimney's uh, three inch difference um and then also from the from the side here it comes in it drops like this and goes up uh, and then it rises over it's not as bad over over here but it rises up now there was a um it used to come up to to this point right here at the edge it went up and then it was a, like a like a crest and then it dropped back down and to this to this wall here it used to be over a three inch drop um just a second uh, i got into some uh some black mold uh, at the beginning of december and got freaking pneumonia bacterial pneumonia yeah, it kicked my ass for like three weeks. Couldn't even get out of bed. I'm still uh, when I when I bend down and stuff, my freaking lung function still ain't ain't what it should be. But uh, what the hell is getting better? Anyways, so this used to it was a, it was a ridge and a drop way down. But in this side here, out to about right here, I have uh, three and a half bags of uh, of quick creep mortar three and a half 60 pound bags so a couple hundred pounds of mortar now the first three bags i put in like 20 years ago because i um this used to be a, a bedroom kind of like this one you know and then i had a small bathroom well i i knocked the wall down um the bathroom I had a five by seven bathroom in here so knocked the wall down just made it one one big bathroom with washer dryer you know the blah 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 but uh so i wanted to level this out because i I leveled this floor all out. So this bathroom floor is leveled, three quarters plywood down, nice. Anyways, um, so for 20 years, all I did was have a, have a piece of carpet thrown over here. I mean, it looked like hell, but I had no freaking idea what to do with it. And then, uh, oh, a little while ago there, Junior II was uh, telling me about this flooring. So, um, so I went with the thicker stuff here because there's areas here where it's where it's truly floating um, because this old wood floor is just I mean it's all over the place so and it's really held up I mean it, it freaking it's thick plus it, it goes with the freaking with all the deformities in the floor it it uh, conforms it in pretty nice you know so so that's why I went with the more expensive stuff here and then and then the bathroom is where I did that traffic master because I figured this floor is perfectly flat. Um, so, you know, I didn't want to spend the money. This one here, 
this uh, this floor cost me uh, um, this was $156 to do for the three boxes to, to do the bathroom where this one for two boxes is basically the same price um, but I mean as you can see this stuff once it's laid in it uh, it's it's a good looking floor I, I like the life proof I think it looks more authentic the last people that came had cats freaking destroyed everything man carpet walls um, anyways um, but you know it's a rental apartment we don't charge a lot of rent um, it's actually very very cheap so um, I figure if I actually get somebody in here that will take care of the place I'm gonna do some more work to it but um, the last people that moved in here just destroyed the place so um, but I'm getting her fixed up get it rented out again um, got some uh, uh, flex molding some T molding to come to because this was one of my harebrained ideas you know 20 years ago I don't know why the hell I did that I was I was gonna make a wood wood uh, transition piece uh, never happened so I'm uh, I got some flex trim coming so hopefully that's gonna take care of Take care of the transition because the floor and the carpet are the exact same height so i'll do a little routing there to get the channel done in there but hopefully that's going to work out for me but anyways so this uh this vinyl wood flooring um home depot hate promoting them freaking places but uh this it's really really nice stuff so um you know if you're looking if you, if you got one of these at this old houses i would definitely check out the life proof um, especially if you're living in it because uh, it lays down nice and it it is as foobard as that floor is man it it covered it up nice so oh no that's not it Jesus I got rambling on this stuff both both flooring you can, you can just score it with a utility knife and snap it um, I'll show you I got these uh, pieces scored here that I'm gonna use for the threshold so uh, this stuff, it takes a little bit of hand strength to, to snap this, this thicker stuff, but the uh, Traffic Master scored a couple times and it just snaps real easy. But, so let's put this camera down. I'm trying to get over here. Hopefully you can see my action here. So I got it scored. Once you get it going, Bam, that's it. Then we just take the utility knife and uh, cut the uh, cut the backing, kind of like when you're doing drywall. Let's see if I can get it all because. Anyways, that's it. Bam, nice. So. Let me uh, let me get the other piece done, and I'll show you show you how easy this goes in. Cause I'm gonna do that threshold real quick. I'll be back. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, the thinner I've been using the uh, my miter saw to make the butt uh, butt cuts. Um, the uh, the life proof, no problem. The traffic master does not. I mean, I'm just using a regular. You know construction blade on there um the blade that came with it freaking forever ago um the traffic master does not like pull cuts you gotta you got i mean i mean uh push cuts you gotta you gotta start and then and then pull go backwards um if you do a push cut sometimes it'll chip and whatnot because it's just so thin so but if you pull cut it it works fine you know you do your plunging and pull so all right Oy. got the cuts so make sure there's a gap in between the two so the nails can go down through when i do the transition piece so basically you just stick it in like so Get your uh, butt joints lined up. 
it bam freaking locked in so just tap it down to dead blow well in this case i could just use my hand because it's a short little piece there so but that's it man now i'm gonna throw the couple transition pieces on there and good enough all right that's it nice stuff see ya bitches